So Darren Stevens, the ball to Umar Rahman. So quite a few people yet present to the ground. We got a strong Pakistan contingent, also a lot of support for England. Straight away, dropped an extra cover. Peter Trego dropping Omar Akmal as he dropped the Hong Kong Sixers. <laughs> really? Gosh, this was straight in and out. Oh, goodness me. He's even gone for four. I can't even begin to imagine what he's feeling like. That is uh, rubbing salt to his wounds. But you can expect that from Omar Akmal. That was a stroke of luck that that shot went straight to Trago and it was the biggest misfortune that it fell out. Well, 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 we'll see with the Trago drop the, drop the cup. But Omar Akmal, as uh, Arun said, rubbing salt to the wound, short and wide. Now Trago decides to come round the wicket. Let's see what he does. Well ball. He wants two. That's a good decision. Trego has been a good bowler. He's bowled with a lot of variety. He's mixed it up. He's bowled good slow deliveries. Stevens rather. And he's uh, altered his angle. He goes from he changed from round the wicket back to over the wicket now with the left hand on strike. Oh, this is high and it's six. It's a top edge, but still a six. Well, this young man, Sharjil Khan, is also impressed to no end. He's been matching up more shot for shot in the last three games. He's been really improvising well. He holds his ground. He doesn't move too much in the crease. Plays late. That's the outside edge and he's got to go. First success for England. They may well have had two in this over. But Stevens has drawn first blood for England. Chris Reed taking a fairly straightforward catch. Khan, Shahjil Khan, the batsman. Driving at a delivery that left him. And he must be disappointed. Another look at that wicket. A little bit of movement away from the left-hander. He's uh, played at it with very little movement of his feet. Outside edge, straight to the keeper. Straightforward catch. 17 for one now, Pakistan. Shahjil Khan, the batsman, out for six. Dangerous Shahjil Khan, I might add. So that is a big, big wicket. This is an eight ball over in the finals. Still three deliveries to bowl. That'll go away for four. Oh, has he managed to get it in? No, he hasn't. That's great effort, but in vain. Tom Smith, the fieldsman. He's a tall man to hit uh, a lot of reach. He did slide and made a second effort, but it had just trickled to the boundary. But great commitment by England. Pulling from round the wicket, he is hitting the block hole. I think it's got to be four again. Yes, it is. There is no long off. Abdul Razak is uh, utilizing that gap there. There's only one fielder on the offside, and he's very wide at extra cover. The driving has been perfect by Razak. Timed it so well. Another wonderful effort. Well, Tom Smith must be hoping, hoping that the third one wouldn't come in his direction again. He's already had two runs and two dives both to no avail six to end the first over 31 for one told you more than 100 balls have been lost out of the 400 odd that have been uh, sent into the trees in the car park 
not more than 200 returned. That's a major cost factor. But they've still got a few left. So they have got their planning right to organize this. Let's hope they'll be up. We had one in the commentary box. We can we can lend a hand. Well bowled. That's a good start to the over. What's impressed me with England bowling is their discipline. They bowl to their field. They know exactly where to bowl. And look to bowl full and look to bowl straight. Yet they went for 31 in the first over. Yeah, it's a long over, I know, but some good batting there by Abdul Razak. Oh. Powerful batting by Abdul Razak. They're trying to keep Pakistan down to boundaries, fours, not sixes. But so far, they've hit many boundaries. Just two sixes. Normally, sixes reign when Akmal is in. Akmal is on 12, but the non striker's in. That is it. He tried varying it a little bit. Smith, because he'd been getting a little predictable trying to find the block hole. Didn't work. Looking to bowl the off cutter. Abdul Razak had plenty of time. Didn't have to really go back. Instead, just hit it over the bowler's head. Razak just waits deep in the crease. He doesn't come down. He's just giving himself uh, up till the last instant to be able to play that shot. That last hit from Abdul Razak hit the top of the camera. Well. Thankful that it hasn't done too much of damage to our cameraman there. Straight at the camera. And we couldn't, well, we couldn't cover the rest of it because it hit the camera on the top. Well bowled, very well bowled indeed. Superb bowling. Mind you, he's bowling to Umar Akmal. He's managing to contain him. Akmal normally by now is on quickly on to 30. He's 12 or 5 now. Having been given uh, a life and uh, four runs. Another boundary. Just a hint of room outside the off stump and Akmal latched onto it. Just squeezed out a Yorker. From Smith, he was pitching it up, and they were driving square. So plenty of open spaces in that area. So Akmal just hitting it away on the offside for four. Pakistan going at 26 runs and over at the moment, 27. But don't forget, these are eight ball overs. We're not talking about six ball overs. So they need to up the run rate much more. couldn't get the elevation because the consistent length by Tom Smith and it's yielded results. The dangerous Akmal has been taken by Ricky Clark at the long on fence. Well, Trego must be relieved. He missed him off the first ball and uh, Ricky Clark, the catcher, into his midriff, didn't have to move. Uh, no more Akmal naturally disappointed. And so are the Pakistanis. He's gone for 16. Done now 47 for two, so he'll turn with the new batsman. So England would be pleased that they've gotten rid of the two danger men, Abdul Razak the third. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a good beginning for uh, Tanvir. It's 53 for two. Carb Jewelry Hong Kong brings to you luxurious.